Hello friends, welcome. So here I have the project, the Laravel project, and we have some posts display in here. Each post has the image, the title, the summary, and also the username because the post belongs to the user. Also, I have installed the Laravel debug bar because in this video we are going to talk about the performance. Also, I want to show you the VS Code, the code here in the welcome I make for each post and for each post I have displayed the image, the title, the summary and the name, the username. I'm going to show you also the controller on the index. Here we get all the posts and return the view with post here. Also I want to show you the post factory, the user ID, random user ID, the title, Baker sentence, the summary, Baker sentence 12, the description, Baker text 1000 characters, and the image URL. Good. Now let's open here and let's see the Laravel debug bar. We have the memory usage of 2 megabytes, about, uh, let's refresh, and we have about 21 or 25 the request duration, the queries is 14 because we need to add here the with the relation and let's say with user and save here and refresh. Good. Now we are going to use the select method. So when it comes to performance, the Laravel provides several methods to retrieve data from a database and the select method is one of them. The select method in Laravel allow you to specify the columns you want to retrieve from the database table. By selecting only the required columns, you can optimize the performance of your application by reducing the amount of data fetched from the database. So right now we have only two megabytes and the request duration is uh, 20 because here we have only the 12th post. But if I change that, if I say get here and let's get all the posts and come here now and refresh, we can see we have six megabytes and about uh, 41 is the required du the request duration. Yeah, 35, 36. Okay. So we can see now we have the memory usage of six. If I use now here the select method and select only the columns, what we want. And if we go to the welcome and here we can see we want the, we need the image URL, the title, the summary and the username relationship. So let's get the image URL title and the summary from the post. So here on the post, we can say select and specify the columns inside. We need add ID, the title, summary, and also the image URL. So image URL. Also, we need to add the user ID because we have the relationship. So let's say user ID here. Good. If I save now and here we have a memory usage of 6 megabyte and the request duration 36. Now, if I refresh right now, yeah, we have the memory usage of 5 megabytes now. And the request duration is 32. If I refresh again, yeah, 35, 30, about 32. So we removed one megabyte from the memory usage. Good. Now, if I change, let's go to the post factory and on the description. So here I add the 1000 characters for the description. If I change that, uh, let's say uh, 12,000. So each post has uh, 12,000 characters. And let's run now the artisan migrate fresh and create artisan migrate fresh, there, there, seed to create again. 
recreate the pose, but with 12,000 characters. And come here, we can see we have 5,000. Refresh. Again, we have 5,000, but if we remove now the select, I'm going to cut this and save and refresh. Now we have 30 megabyte memory usage because we added 12,000 characters in the description. Okay, so by adding the select, and we selected only the title summary and the image URL, also the user ID because we have the relation. With that, we can see we have reduced 35, uh, uh, 25, sorry, 25 megabyte memory uses. Okay. So in this example, the select method is used to retrieve only the ID, title, summary, and the image URL. We need the user ID because we have the user relationship. This helps to minimize the data transferred from the database to our application and is going to result in improved performance. However, it's worth noting that the performance impact of using the select method uh, alone may vary on the, depending on the factors such as uh, the size of the table, the complexity of the query and the overall design of our application. Okay, so because we added here uh, 12,000, but if the description also may have some uh, images and so on, it's going to be larger than 12,000, it's going to improve a lot the memory usage. If I remove the select here, Okay, and save. Now, in, not and save. Instead of get, I'm going to say paginate. Paginate by 12. With that, we cannot see the difference here. So if I refresh, we have 2 megabytes. And also if I add here the select, the same thing. Yeah, we cannot see the difference with uh, 12 posts. But if we change that, we can see what the select does. Okay, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and see you in the next one, friends. All the best. Thanks.